Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's continue discussing Star Trek Picard. Okay. The last episode was great. Obviously it's going to be great because it was directed by none other than Jonathan Franks. Okay. I think we got some clear theories. Or maybe they will move from the theory category into something that's eh, probable. Okay. Our Borg Queen. Obviously, the Borg Queen that we saw in the first episode looks like it is going to be Girardi. This is what I think is going to happen. As I described earlier, that I believe this kind of this uh, temporal timeline shenanigans is a temporal eddy. It's going looping back on itself. I. And right now leaning towards Girardi will not join the crew in returning to the 24th, 25th century, sorry, until the point when she transports onto the Stargazer's Bridge as the Borg Queen. And there was a little teaser or a little Easter egg or whatever you want to call it in the first episode, if you looked at the closed captions, that... It wasn't referred to as the Borg Collective, but as the Legion. Mm. Girardi's Legion. And obviously this is where it comes from, from her wanting to join the Federation peaceful. This is a different Borg. As a collective, obviously they're still eh, rough around the edges, no bedside manner. Obviously trying to assimilate the entire fleet, but, you know. At least they're trying, I guess. Um, my second theory here, and I saw this on Twitter. Forgive me, I forget who said it. Um, but I tend to agree that Rios is also not going to go back to the 24th century. We've had some Easter eggs from the first episode and that have continue, continued on about butterflies. The same logo as the Hell Clinic. You can find that logo on some of the medical cargo that was on the, the Sorrenta in episode one. I think that is Rios staying behind. I really think that's what's going to happen. I really agree with that, that theory. Um, now, as far as how we get back to the 24th century, I don't know how that's going to work out yet. I'm not sure if them traveling back on... The, the recent, whatever, on the ship is really going to work. Um, I think there's still some Q meddling around in there. I really think they're going to appear back at the same point at which they left when the music started playing on that, uh, right at the end of episode one. I think that's the point they're going to come back. And they will terminate the self-destruct. And Girardi or Queen Girardi, will finish simulating, but then not do anything. Because she just needed energy. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. I'm thinking also that the trial, that never ends, is not the trial for humanity. That it's actually Q that's on trial for something. Obviously he's sick. I think he might be dying. That must be pretty scary for an almost godlike creature to die. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, so what do you guys think about all these theories? I'm really, really set on soul of the idea that Girardi is that poor queen. Um, you know, I actually have gone through the credits for the first episode trying to figure out who is playing the queen. And I thought it was someone, but someone pointed out that it was from a different scene. So, I don't think there's any rules within the Screen, screen Actor Guild or whatever is controlling how credit is given. I'm wondering if someone who was already in the credits was the Boar Queen. You know, Girardi. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. I'm excited. We got uh, 
four episodes left for this season. Plenty of time for more stuff to drop. I'm honestly don't know where they're going with the plot. It's it is original, even that people are saying there's no continuity with other things. Blah blah blah. Who cares? It's a standalone story. It's a mini series, and it's great. So just enjoy. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Till later.